Hi, this is Halal. In this video on mathematical economic series, we will discuss about third order determinants. Now, the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix is called a third order determinant. If we have a 3 by 3 matrix like here, 3 by 3 means where there are 3 rows and 3 columns. Now, the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix is called third order determinant. Now, the symbol for determinant is this A, this symbol. Now, there are some steps to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. The first step is take the first element of the first row A11 and mentally delete the row and column in which it appears. Then multiply A11 by the determinant of the remaining elements. Now, we take the first element of the first row here it is a11 and we mentally delete the row and the column in which it appears then we multiply this a11 by the determinant of the remaining elements here the remaining elements are a22 a23 a32 and a33 so this is here the second order determinant we have seen in earlier videos how to find the determinant of 2 by 2 matrix now our our determinant will be like this this is the symbol for determinant this is equal to the first element that is a 1 1 and we multiply this a this, this first element by the determinant of these remaining elements that is a 2 2 a 2 3 a 3 2 and a 3 3 so this was the first step now similarly we take the second element of the first row that is we take this element here we will take this element now we take the uh, second element of the first row and delete the column sorry delete the row that is we will delete this row and the, this column in which it appears that is take the second element of the first row that is a12 and mentally delete the row and column in which it appears we take this a11 and mentally delete the row and the column in which it appears that is that is uh, means we have then a 1 2 so then multiply a 1 2 by minus 1 so we will multiply this a 1 2 by minus 1 minus 1 times the determinant of the remaining elements now the remaining elements are here uh, here the remaining elements are a 2 1 a 2 3 a 3 1 and a 3 3 so this was the second step i repeat the second step we take the second element of the first row and we mentally delete the row and the column in which it appears like this we delete this row and this column then multiply this a12 by minus 1 times the determinant of the remaining elements the remaining elements are this 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 and this plus plus we take the next step that is similarly we take the uh, take the third element of the first row a13 sorry it is here a1 3 that is we take the third element of the first row that is a13 so i will circle this and mentally delete the row and the column in which it appears so we take this element that is a13 and mentally delete the row and the column in which appears then multiply this element this element by the determinant of the remaining elements that is we multiply this by the remaining elements 
determinant are the remaining elements that is a to 1 a to 2 a 3 1 and a 3 2 now we will solve this this will become a 1 1 now this uh, these two elements on the principal diagonals will be multiplied that is a 2 2 times a 3 3 and we will subtract it by the non principal diagonals the product of the elements on the non principal diagonals that is these two now these two elements that is a 3 2 times a 2 3 a 2 3 now here a 1 2 times minus 1 so this will become minus so i will write this here this will become minus a 1 2 a 1 2 now similarly here we will multiply these two terms that is a 2 1 times a 3 3 from this we will subtract the product of these two elements that is a 3 1 a 2 3 now it is here plus uh, this a 1 3 this a 1 3 now similarly multiplying these two uh, elements on the principal diagonal that is a 2 1 times a 3 2 minus the product of these two elements that is a 3 1 times a 2 2 now the number we will get when solving these we will get a number that is scalar now we will get a number that is a scalar or it is a number here so this is how determinant is uh, found of a 3 by 3 matrix now if i give an example if i have if i give an example that is let us rub this or i put this out now if i have an example let us say I take this uh, red color marker here so if I have a 3 by 3 matrix that is let us say this is 2 1 3 second is 4 2 1 and 3 6 5 so we will find the determinant of this matrix since it is a 3 by 3 matrix we can find the determinant in the earlier videos as we have told we can only find the determinant of a square matrix where the number of rows and number of columns are equal now the first step is as we have seen is uh, in this in this example what we do we take this this a means the determinant of this a uh, this matrix now we take the first element that is this two and mentally delete the row and the column that is we delete this row and this now we multiply this uh, two by the determinant of the remaining elements here this is two six one five so i will write two six one five so this was this is the first step now second step is we take the second element that is four and we multiply first it by minus one and then <coughs> mentally uh, delete the row it is like this this row uh, sorry the row and the column in which it appears that is uh, these two now we multiply this by 
the determinant of the remaining elements here the remaining elements are 1 3 6 5 so I will write 1 3 6 5 plus I take the third element that is 3 and mentally delete the row and the column in which it appears so I will write here first 3 and multiply this 3 by the determinant of the remaining elements the remaining elements are here 1 2 3 1 so I will write 1 2 3 1 now solving this here it is 2 now multiplying these two uh, diagonal elements principal diagonal elements that is 2 into 5 so this is 2 into 5 minus the uh, the product of these two elements that is 1 into 6 similarly here 4 into minus 1 that will become minus 4 now multiplying these two elements first that is 5, 1 into 5 1 into 5 minus this 3 into 6 3 uh, into 6 similarly this is plus 3 uh, this will become 1 into 1 that is 1 into 1 then uh, elements in the product uh, diagonal element minus 3 into 2 3 into 2 now further solving this will become 2 now this 2 5s are 10 minus 1 6 is our 6 uh, this plus will I will write this is minus 4 now here it is 1 into 5 is 5 that is 5 minus 3 6 is our 18 uh, plus this 3 now here it is 1 1 are 1 minus 3 2 are 6 so this will become 2 now 10 minus 6 10 minus 6 is 10 minus 6 is that is 4 Uh, plus minus 4 here 5 minus 18 5 minus 18 is uh, that is minus 13 now this is plus 3 now 1 minus 6 is minus 5 now this will become 2 4s are uh, 2 4s are 8 plus now minus 4 times minus 13 this will become plus 52 now 3 into minus 5 that is minus minus 15 now this 8 plus 52 is 60 minus 15 this will become 45 now since a the determinant of this matrix is equal to 45 this means which is not equal to 0 implies a is non-singular non by non-singular means this determinant has a unique solution if the value of a was 0 then this determinant would have no solution so this was all about finding the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix i hope you enjoy the video if you really like this video please subscribe and share my youtube channel that is uh, i will write here the name on the youtube is econ Econ Maths. I am regularly uploading the videos on this channel on mathematical economics. So, in next videos, inshallah, I will cover 
the comparative statistics uh, we have the first order differential equations the second order dif difference equations and other stuff on the mathematical economics so i hope you enjoy the video evela kardash thank you so for more videos on mathematical economics please subscribe our youtube channel econ maths also like comment and share if you like this video thank you